Hi there, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about what it's like to be a multi-passionate. You may have heard multi-passionate being described as a multi-potentialite or multipod, a scanner, a polymath, a renaissance soul or man or woman. There are also some more derogatory terms like jack of all trades, master of none. Well, I am a true multi-passionate and I'm here to let you know a little bit about what it's like to be a multi-passionate artist. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the disadvantages or cons of being a multi-passionate and then I'll do the flip side later talking about all the benefits. One thing that's definitely a disadvantage is that there is never enough time for everything that you want to do. <laughs> Even more so when you're multi-passionate than for regular people with, who also encounter that problem. Housework sucks, at least for me. It takes up too much of my time even though I do only what I absolutely have to do. A regular job feels boring. I know I've worked regular jobs and I have never found one that I actually like. Perhaps because there's just not enough variety in a normal job. It might be hard to get things finished for some people because you really want to get on to the next project, this next big idea you just have. Some people say that being a female entrepreneur is like having, say, 25 tabs open in your browser at the same time. Well, you can probably multiply that with at least a hundred if you're multi-passionate because there's always something going on in your head there's always a new idea or something you want to develop something you want to work on so it takes some learning to uh, be able to focus because you know a lot of things as a multi-passionate you really try to do everything yourself it's uh, you don't always know when you should ask for help. Other tasks don't always get done. Either because we don't want to or because we simply forget about them because we're so into what we're doing at that moment. When you are a multi-passionate, you run the risk of easily getting bored with mundane things. You get bored if you have to do something if you should do something other than what you're actually interested in and something I definitely ran into myself and it has a lot to do with running a business is when you have to focus on one thing over a length of time you feel utterly miserable and that's why I've made some changes to my business because I just can't do that I can't do one thing only speak about make videos about write about one thing only i can't paint only one subject i can't paint in only one medium and i can't have only one thing to put up so that's why i'm trying this switching it up every full moon when it comes to other people, they might think that you're unfocused, flaky, or they accuse you of being indecisive, not being able to make a decision, which, which is so not true. If you have a business, it might be hard to succeed because you can't do this one-track mind thing. You're just not built for it. Another thing is that you might be spreading yourself too thin, trying to do everything. Nobody's able to do everything. It might also be hard to prioritize what you want the most. I have some techniques for that if you're interested. And the question, so what do you do, is impossible to answer in one sentence. Those are some of the disadvantages of being a multi-passionate. If you're one, I want to hear from you. If you're not, I want to hear from you too. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.